All right, my friends. So next up, I want to create another icon next to the edit one, which is going to be a trash can icon. And when we click on that, it's going to delete that particular smoothie. So first things first, we need to go into the smoothie card component and I want another material icon, but we're going to place it after the edit one. So let's copy this. And then after the link, put in another I tag with a class name of material icons. And then this time the keyword is delete and that gives us a trash can icon. Now this time it's not gonna be inside a link component because think about it, we're not actually linking to another page. All we want to do is fire a function when we click on this thing to delete a particular record. So instead what we do is we have an on-click handler and then we reference a function which I'm gonna call handle delete. All right, so now we need to make that function up here. So let's create it, const handle delete, and we set that equal to an async function, like so. All right, so what we're gonna do in here, well, we're gonna use Superbase to target a particular record in our smoothies table and delete it. So we need to import Superbase at the top. So let's do that, import Superbase, and that comes from dot dot forward slash and then into the config folder and then we want superbase clients all right so inside here then we want to say const and then same again we get two things back data which is going to be the record we've just deleted and also error and we set that equal to await superbase and then we can tack on some different methods to this. Now, same again, if you're using version one, then it's gonna automatically return the record as the data here that we try to delete. If you're using version two of Superbase, then instead of what you want to do is tack on that select method at the end of all these different methods. So I'll show you that shortly. So first of all, we wanna say from where do we want to delete a record? Well, it's from the smoothies table like so and then we want to delete a particular record. So we use the delete method. And then after that, we need to say which record we want to delete. So we can use the EQ function again to say, we want to delete the record where the ID field is equal to the ID of the smoothie. Now we have the ID property on the smoothie prop. So we can just say smoothie dot ID like so. Okay, so like I said, if you're using version one of the Superbase client library, it's gonna automatically return that record that we've just deleted as the data, if it was a success. However, if you're using version two, then you need to tack on the select method at the end in order to get that data back. If you don't want the data back, that's fine. You don't have to add on the select method. Anyway, now we're performing that delete request. We're going to either get back the data or the error and we want to do different things depending on which one we get back so we can check for those i'm going to say if we get an error we will just log that to the console we don't need to do much else i'm just going to log it to the console and if we get the data then likewise i'm just going to log that to the console so console.log data like so and i think my friends that is pretty much it so now when we click on this icon right here, we find that function. We try to delete a particular smoothie with the ID right here. If we get an error, we'll see that in the console. If it's a success and we get data back, we'll see the deleted record in the console as well. So let's give this a whirl. So then if we now try to delete something, for example, this new smoothie over here, then we're gonna see that smoothie come back in an array over here. So we can see the smoothie that has been deleted. You see right here, the title is new smoothie, this one, but it's not been deleted from the UI. And that's because when we send a delete request, yeah, we delete it from the database, but our local state inside this component is still the same. We're not refetching any data or anything like that. So if I refresh, then we should see, because we refetch the data then, that that smoothie has gone. Now, this is not a great experience for users. When you delete something, you probably wanna see it delete from the screen as well to keep in sync with the database. So what we're gonna do in the next lesson is update our local state to match what's in the database by deleting it when we get a data response.